Okay, I've been trying to map this all out in my head, and I have something I wanted to show you. Now, this is related to one ETF, IWM. Now, this thing is a monstrosity, and I think this is like where all of the action is taking place. Because, number one, it's got Fed, BlackRock, banks, and hedge funds all meeting in the same spot. Now, I'm sure that happens frequently, but to this extent, I doubt it. So, let's go ahead and take a look into IWM real quick. So again, IWM, the issuer of this is iShares, and the iShares ETFs are issued by BlackRock. Now, first of all, number one holding in this fund is AMC, 9.293 million shares at the price of, guess what, 46.19. You know what I think this is? I think this is the fails right here from the uh, threshold list, uh, more than likely, um, you know, and possibly um, some other things like fails to deliver from the market and things like that. Look at the uh, the uh, shares outstanding. 301.7 million, right? As of July 9th. Well, look at the net assets. 68. 68 billion in net assets. That is insane. And technically it's 69.7 billion as of today according to Weeble. But in, anyway, it's 26 million volume daily. It's just insanity. So if you look at their uh, holdings, at the IWM holdings, right? BCF Institutional Fund is amongst one of the top holdings. Now, if you look at this institutional fund, this is also owned by BlackRock, and it contains almost all of the ETFs BlackRock issues, as you can see right here. And this is as of 628. And the share count right here, that is ridiculous, all the way down. So you got IWM, made by BlackRock, issued by BlackRock, and then you have BlackRock's BCF Institutional Fund come back into the picture and buy IWM. It's just insane. And the institutional shares are 48 billion. 48.1 billion. So the ETFs with IWM, these are the most recently added as per Fintel. We have TNA, and guess what? TNA's top one holding, yeah, you guessed it, is IWM, of course with 66% of its assets contributed. So if you look at this autistic chart that I drew, we have BlackRock here with the institutional fund who holds all major banks and the 280 iShares ETF. Now if you follow this chart, these right here are the underlying assets. These are actually some exact assets in IWM. So at the beginning, you know, BlackRock comes and they take all these assets, they create an ETF, IWM, and then IWM goes and gets all the major banks, and then BlackRock comes in with the institutional fund, buys up IWM, and then also buys up the rest of the iShares ETFs for $1 per share. Now, if you look at this even more advanced autistic graph, this is what I think is going on as far as the big picture. So you have the IWM comprised of assets, and then uh, the number one holder of this is the institutional fund from BlackRock. The institutional fund from BlackRock is owned, of course, by BlackRock, who works with the Fed. We know that the Fed and the banks have reverse repo transactions, a repo transaction they do together, and then you also know that BlackRock buys up the iShares through the institutional fund, which they also buy other ETFs with that also have IWM, and then at the same time all this is going on, hedge funds are buying puts in mass on this thing, and so are banks. And then, by the way, it's, it's, like it's all connected in this strange web. And again, 69.7 billion in net assets. That is insanity. Now, on top of all that, so you got all this going on. You have, you know, uh, another ETF within the ETF that the top one holdings is an ETF with a small swap underneath it. Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs. Everything's related. And then you go to IWM and you look up the short interest on IWM, holy crap. Just when you thought it was gonna get any worse, the short interest is about 40% of the shares outstanding. So, I don't know, this to me seems like uh, this is exactly where those uh, threshold AMC shares could be. So I just wanted to point that out, and again, sorry about all of my uh, autistic drawings and everything, but if you go to Fintel and you look, I mean, look at this, 130 million shares short. And now on paper, 
that's 43.26%, and it's only been increasing this whole time. So in my opinion, IWM is where it's all going down. Hope this did not confuse anyone. Hope you found it helpful. I'm going to stop with the ETF talk now. I'm going to get back into the filings because there's a lot of new filings to talk about. I'll release that as soon as I get the first one done. Um, just give me a minute because I want to make sure I get everything accurate and explain everything in uh, an easy to understand manner. Yep, these are all of the uh, iShares owned by uh, BlackRock who creates the ETF who, you know, golly, it's so confusing. Talk to y'all later.